New controversy tonight involving Wake County Sheriff Gerald Baker. A petition was filed this afternoon to remove the sheriff from office. WRL investigates Cullen Browder is here now to explain the legal process behind this and what this all means. Cullen. So Lena, this is based on general statute 128-16. Any five voters can file a petition seeking to remove an elected official from office based on willful, willful misconduct, neglect of duties in office. So here's the petition filed this afternoon by attorney Jeff Dobson, by the way, he's the Republican candidate for district attorney. It's now up to the chief superior court judge to decide if this petition even warrants a hearing or should be dismissed. The petition cites many issues WRAL has reported on in the past four years from controversial firings and promotions to Sheriff Baker's handling of vendor contracts to recent staff shuffling. The complaint questions the sheriff's handling of the murder investigation of Deputy Ned Byrd and his decision to reassign canine officers. One one officers pre presented the flag from Bird's coffin to his family. That was instead of the sheriff. Now, District Attorney Lauren Freeman just told me by statute she or the county attorney must approve the petition before it's filed. She did not do that. Dobson disagrees with that interpretation. Judge uh, Paul Ridgway must now weigh whether these allegations even deserve a hearing, especially since Sheriff Baker already lost in the primary. He's set to leave office in December. Uh, Lena, I reached out to the sheriff this afternoon. I have not yet heard back.